Which TV is your education station? Parents of children with special needs say a surveillance camera bill will uh, let them rest easier when their kids are in school. It would require cameras in certain special education spaces in school. News 8's government reporter Garrett Berquist tells us how they would be used. The bill's author says she wrote it after several incidents in which children with special needs were improperly restrained in school. Jade Presnell has a son with Down syndrome, so it's not easy to ask how his day in school went. Is my child being supported properly? Are they safe? Are they having their needs met? And when your child can't communicate that to you in a very clear and direct way, um, you often have to investigate and dig and figure out those things on your own. A bill in the Indiana House would require surveillance cameras in seclusion and life skills areas of special education classrooms. Those are places where children experiencing behavioral problems are separated from the rest of the class. This legislation, as amended, will be a significant step in making sure that our most vulnerable children are seen and heard. I also hope that this legislation gives a voice to our special education teachers and instructional aides who often do not feel they have the support they need. The cameras would have to record audio as well as video. Both parents and teachers would be able to request the video if they think anything happened. The House Education Committee approved the bill Wednesday afternoon. School officials say they agree with the concept behind the bill, though they'd like to see direct funding for the cameras. If I have to take a camera that I have in a common area, if I have to take it such as a hallway or a cafeteria or a remote area to relocate that camera to meet statute, that then could possibly put all other students, ex excluding special ed, into a particular way. So I would suggest that the financials to this would really solidify 100 percent of support. Prestel says the cameras would give her a resource if she ever noticed any changes in her son's behavior. House Bill 1073 just gives us that peace of mind that if we need a more objective perspective of what's going on, then we can access that if something were to come up that we were concerned about. The bill now goes to the full house for further consideration. At the State House, I'm Garrett Bergquist for Wish TV. WishTV.com or follow us on Facebook for more updates.